Greetings, Captains, and welcome back to another episode of Starfleet Command, a Rampart's Post Mod. I am Admiral Tarek of the Carrier USS Wasp as we continue operations against the Romulan Star Empire. I think I called them a Star Kingdom last time, which is not correct. They're an empire. They conquer and steal things for what they want, and they don't really have a monarchy as far as I can tell. No, it's the Romulan Senate. Unless I'm missing something for Starfleet Battles, that would be pretty interesting. Anyway, we are continuing the siege of the planet of 23-9, and last time we managed to get two successful planetary assaults off. Their empire defense is down to 19, so without further ado, let's continue operations against our sworn enemies, the Romulans. And we're going to continue planetary assaults, because despite the riskiness of doing these planetary assaults, if we ever run into a PLPH without Gorn's assistance, we're not going to crack that. Uh, I prefer them over, you know, having to do... Shipyard assaults. Ugh, I hate shipyard assaults. So let's set up and head underway. We are being escorted today by the GCS Snarl and the GCS Fang. Uh, Decent-ish names, I suppose, for Gord. Um, ju ju judging them quite well. And of course, there is always the lovely MacArthur, who is a beautiful battle cruiser, one of the most gorgeous lines of the ships in this game. Although I have to say, the Constitution is probably a little bit, a little bit more beautiful. Not much, a little bit. And uh, swearing off against a single heavy cruiser, another heavy cruiser, and a planet. The planet, according to the fleet screen, is a PL-15, which means even if we didn't have the Gorn, we could crack that. And it looks like the Gorn are a heavy war destroyer and a battle cruiser. The enemy ships are a Regal Hawk and a Regal Hawk, which, excellent, so they have identical loadouts, so I don't even have to change targets in order to figure out if they're carrying, because they're going to be carrying the exact same thing. Let's get that forward shield to a maximum level of reinforcements so that we can duel with all the dual dualiness and uh, six points of electronic counter counter measure. You ain't stopping me. Let's increase the speed of the vessel a little bit. We've got a single R-type plasma torpedo, two F-type plasma torpedoes, and then a whole ton of phaser Xs. Let's pull over to port. We, uh, we do need to go home at some point and get uh, some X-type equipped vessels because they're becoming ubiquitous and that's a problem because we don't have these weapons. I wish there were X-type fighters. That'd be really cool. I think I was talking last time about wanting prowlers. I still want prowlers. Hey, can, can we mod in new versions of fighters that give like an aura of electronic countermeasure? That would be hilarious. I don't think that's possible. I'm 80% positive that's not possible. Let's send proximity photon torpedoes his way since eh, after all we are within range. And it never hurts to say hi. Unfortunately, we are firing into an attack ship, which means we didn't get a single hit on through. Dark of the battle cruiser, make sure we come within, behind the fang. Let the snarl get in nice and close. Uh, I don't see any pseudo frigates, which if you have them, you should be launching them, but I'm pretty sure the Regal Hawk doesn't carry any. He might carry two. Maybe. If he hasn't launched them by now, he ain't launching them. They have gone and fired absolutely everything they've got. It's time to get the fighters involved. So let us go defend me, defend me, just so they're out, ready, about, and able to kill. Let's deploy. I think we've got a full 20 fighter complement ready to go. They have dropped Undercloak, which is, of course, slightly annoying. Photon Torpedo set up to normal mode. That way we can hit him. Somehow, he got a Plasma Torpedo shot on a cloaked target. How? Game AI, I think you cheat. Unless the Gorn has something really special that allowed him to shoot Plasma Torpedoes at invisible targets. Which, if you do, tell me how to do that. Because I'd like to be able to do that, too. Oh, it's so nice to have our fighter wings just drifting out in here ready to do massive amounts of battle. Are you guys just going to increase speed? Yeah, you're, you're going to burn out your wild weasels. It was a total waste of a wild weasel. And actually, I think I'm going to come in here for a firing pass right in front of him. The conjunctio. Because if I can get in front of him, I can hit through this down shield and, you know, it's not going to be much damage, but it'll be something. You're still not coming out of cloak? Of course not. That would be moderately foolish. Hey, MacArthur, break formation. Go at it as you will. So, yep. That's the angle I want, and five damage. A blast that normally causes what I would consider to be, four misses on that, what I would consider to be catastrophic damage from 16 Phaser 3s, essentially. You know, we've got four Phaser Gs here. Uh, did five damage. We are still picking on him quite heavily. He's not having a good day. He's already lost a Plasma F Torpedo. Although, now that he's got that almost charged, this Regal Hawk probably is getting into a position to be able to do something about that. Let's jump a mine right here. Get a nice little sun wall going, make him a little less... Yep, they're coming out of cloak. Now, I did cut myself off from being able to launch missiles. Increase our speed just a little bit in at him, because now we have to fly through this. However, I have... Don't hit the mines, guys. You're, you're smarter than that. Maybe not. Nope, nope, they're not. Oh, they are. Okay, just barely. Alright, fighters, it's time to commit. Attack. Attack, attack, and uh, attack. Get on in there. Oh, I don't think he's surviving these. No, no, he was not. 
This one, however, missiles away, please. Uh, that'll save my fighters the ability to utilize all their heavy weapons over here, which is excellent. Affirmative, they're going in, which is what I want to hear. Let's turn harder, see if we can't break away from him. He does have plasma torpedoes ready to rock and roll, which means I don't want to miss that. Fortunately, he did dump a wild weasel, which is excellent. That means I don't have to worry about uh, him coming after me. We'll be able to get away, no problem at all. The fighters are about to be... Yep, he's uh, his wild weasel is down. So just get in there and hit him with everything you got. Missile's not yet ready to go. Oh, MacArthur, it was beautiful. I approve. Good show. Return to me. Return to me. Oh, sounds like somebody just wasted a scatter pack and it was the MacArthur and I pay for those. Just saying. Increase speed time to the maximum. We need to get into this planet and hit it with everything. Everything we have. Uh, prepare to fire photon torpedoes once we hit range, which we're not in just yet. Slow down a bit. Let the fighters catch up. Hi, guys. Just, just get on board. Get, get on board. One, two. Come on, there's two more fighter squadrons zipping around here. Where's my vulture? Oh, you're doing this crap again. Hey, vulture squadron. Defend this target. Seriously, th this is stupid. Don't don't ever do that. If you're a fighter jockey and you find yourself in space and you've just finished shooting down a Regal Hawk, listen to your captain and return home to the ship. He probably just wants to make sure that your fighter hasn't been horrifically damaged in some way. And I swear to God, if you hit this asteroid, somebody is going to get ridden up. Uh, engage photon torpedoes. Hey, we'll get a decent number of hits. Out. Actually, we combined our salvos. Wonderful show. Uh, hi, are you going to come home now? Return to me. I think he's on a landing course. Maybe. Yes, okay, excellent. Target the planet. All weapons select. Engage. At will. Now, after this, we do have to return home. We don't have a choice. We're going to be out of Marines. And that's a problem. He did shoot down everything we had with that, so that's not cool. Uh, set these to normal mode. We're going to close within range to do everything that we could ever want to do with that. He is now holding them, which means, well, he shot them down, so that means nothing. He has nothing. But at this point, we're basically out of ammunition on these anyth anyway, so we're just getting the free reload. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Don't want to accidentally drift into range of those weapons. Keep shooting. Just, just flatten this thing. Yep, I think we mostly got him. How many? Seven more people on the planet. I'm about to bu beam three marines over. And uh, once that happens, I do anticipate we'll have the planet. Well, we won't have the tile. Their Empire Defense is 19. I will be very surprised if the tile goes to neutral. But unfortunately, I don't think we can risk hanging around and trying to pick up another mission with the tile neutral, because if we get a planetary assault, we won't be able to take it. Okay, go Marines. Slow, slow turn the ship. No reason not to. Just admire the beauty of our vessel in orbit over this planet as we continue to bombard it to a, well, a useless rock is what we're going for here. Tick tock, tick tock. Come on, turn, turn faster. There we go. We've managed to kill all the Marines. Now we just gotta wait until everything gets captured and taken over. <laughs> and come on, give me the neutral. Well, give me the steel. A little bit, a little bit longer. And start to increase speed. We're moving away from this planet. Because we have it. We, they just have, there we go. The planet is ours. Excellent. Once again, another successful operation by the Triple Decel Space Control Ship. This this model of the Federation carrier is growing on me. There's a different model that they use for the for the stock game of this, and it is very cool. But the the Triple Decel design grows on you. Yep, he's down to 14 Empire Defense. We are out of Marines. It is time to go home. Hello, we're home. Back to the planet that we captured. Supplies. Uh, actually, no shipyard first. Let's let's check to see what we've got here. 11,906 to get a BBV. Which would give us a lot more firepower, but would be less useful in terms of fighter escort. We've got the full-on CX available to us. DNHs are a little bit beyond what we can afford, and we're, we're sticking with fighters for a little while. Is there an SCS that has the X? Doesn't look like it. However, there is a BCFX, which I suppose we could get another battle cruiser in our little fleet. That might not be the most terrible idea ever. Ooh, a Merv equipped uh, escort cruiser. Nah, that that's just not enough missiles to justify that. Let's uh, okay. So we're gonna go into supplies. Uh, fighters, we're good. For once, we actually came home with a full complement of fighters. I'm so proud of you guys. Congratulations, you all deserve a round of applause. You survived an entire sortie. However, uh, every single marine is dead. Well, he's not dead. He's he's currently occupying planets somewhere. 
So give me all your marines. Give me a couple of mines. Eh, what the heck, we may as well get some more spare parts. I didn't realize we had 45 spare parts. And fix the MacArthur's little, little boo-boos. Nothing too special on him. And give him back his full missile complement. <laughs> Those missiles are deadly and damaging. And give him back his admin shuttles, which I think, yeah, we also used up two admin shuttles. Thank you. One last check of the shipyard. So no X-type heavy cruisers just yet. It is 2301, which does mean they should be out there, but I'm not seeing them. There is a BCJ, which is now outside of our price range, which the BCJ may not be a terrible idea now. It's six photon torpedoes instead of the four and a special weapons pack. This is six photon torpedoes and a missile pack, which is, that's not bad. And it is an X-type heavy cruiser, which is a huge upgrade. Once you start getting X-type heavy cruisers, well, you have massively increased the amount of firepower that you can dish out. Let's continue the invasion of the planet and a patrol operation. Patrols are always good. Patrols are nice, easy, and relatively safe. I don't want to call them completely safe because, you know, we could run into five dreadnoughts. That's happened. Actually, no, literally that has actually happened to us. Five, six dreadnoughts against, like, two ships. Uh, so, we are currently sending out to engage anybody. We don't see anybody yet, but we're going to be incredibly cautious. So, immediately we'll pop up a one of these and one of these. Those would be a Wild Weasel and a Scatterpack Shuttle. Filling full of six Type 1 missiles, which can, well, really surprise the crap out of your enemies if they don't anticipate it coming. Which they generally don't. We'll give ourselves six points of our counter 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 measures. And we'll also go up to whatever sort of energy you have to spare in the shield to go full power. Increase the speed of the ship just a little bit. We're being escorted today by... The Compact, a CLX, which is... The ISC is currently helping us out on this. They want to take this, and we're squaring off against the Klingon Heavy Cruiser. Now, the reason why I'm not happy about this is because, unfortunately, Wymulin Klingon designs, so the K-series, tend to have D-type plasma torpedoes, which means the fighters be staying home. So we're going to just uh, get in formation with the CLX. Let this... Let this... ISC light cruiser lead the charge instead of the battle cruiser and the space control ship. Yeah, if we fired our ships into this, they'd get utterly gutted. We're not going to risk that. However, I am going to say, hi, I'm sending missiles your way just to see what you do with them. It might confuse him, which it does quite often, actually. The AI I am noticing does seem to get a little bit frazzled when you send four missiles their way. I don't know if they're immediately expecting a scatter pack, but they tend to dump immediately upon seeing it. The compact chugging along at incredibly slow velocities, like every ISC ship ever. The ISC do not make nimble, maneuverable, fast vessels. They make big, plodding juggernauts. Which, to be fair, they're scary, but they're also frustratingly difficult to work with when you're uh, not ISC and therefore don't have their speed restriction. We're actually quite comfortable maintaining a speed of 17. Or faster, you know, now that our weapons are fully charged. But even if we were still charging weapons, we would be quite comfortable at this speed. So he has begun to deploy his uh, defensive plasma torpedoes. He has decided not to stop. He does have pseudo frigates. Not good. Okay, we're going to have to kill you. Photon torpedoes, do you have the range? Give me within a range of 30 and I will engage at full prejudice here. One, two, three, and now. There we go. And it does look like he has begun to engage. Wow, you're a light cruiser with R-type plasma torpedoes. I am jealous. Not that I... I didn't realize these were R-type plasmas. You do have... Yeah, he has ours of his own. So that's not grand. Uh, gonna dump this in this direction. Gonna focus on you. And I'm also gonna tell MacArthur, maneuver at will. Do what must be done. Still gonna keep the fighters at bay because that would be painful and we don't feel like being painful. I'm pretty certain I was targeting that when I activated the scatter pack. If I didn't, I'm going to be really annoyed. Yeah, it looks like I didn't. Oh, MacArthur is avoiding and evading some really, really big plasma torpedoes. And unfortunately, my missiles are not going to hit that mine, which I deployed the missiles into them. Right at the wrong moment. Yep, that was all of them. I really should start practicing the whole strategy slash technique of firing your missiles in small salvos. And that's going to get through. Oh, MacArthur just took 28 damage and is now responding, well, with a lot more damage. Actually, my fo Phasers? Gatling phaser only. Eh, no, I don't... Phasers. I meant phasers, not photon torpedoes, but I suppose the photon torpedoes will have to do. In the meantime, Gatling phasers. Really? Really, Compact? I was about to unload with 16 phaser 3 shots. It was going to be beautiful. The amount of pain that I would have rained would have been unimaginable to any captain who would normally be flying that sort of ship. Of course, they'd be able to imagine it. After all, this is not an incredibly unheard of setup. 
154 prestige. The pawn is down to a defense of 9. We will continue the pressure. Uh, we're actually going to continue the pressure hard because I want this pawn. A shipyard assault is what we are being forced to take. I hate these missions, but we will have to take them because they're long, they're boring, and red alert, increased speed. We've got a new drone cruiser. The USS Grant is here with us fighting against the specs, which is going to be incredibly frustrating because he's going to fire his weapon once, cloak, and then never decloak. And a heavy cruiser, which appears to be a war eagle. Uh, you are an SERC-1. I have no idea what that means. That is that is Greek to me, I'm afraid. I do not understand, although... No, I don't understand Greek. I understand some of the Greek alphabet. I think everybody who ever tried to take math courses in college understands some of the Greek alphabet. Kind of get used to that. Also, you know, they tend to use it for a lot of special rules in tabletop games. It's like, Lambda rule, this is that. Because they run out after star, cross, double cross, and then they start needing Greek letters. So the probe, tell me exactly what this thing is packing. I am very concerned about this guy, actually. I am anticipating a fairly significant amount of firepower wrapped up in D-type plasma torpedoes. I'm going to send it your way, just to... It's a poor man's probe, honestly. You are... completely... and utterly ignorable. Wow. Um... This is useless. Is this some kind of converted... Oh, no, no, you're a pseudo for contender. Oh, that's what you've got to be. You can't be anything else. I refuse to believe that a heavy cruiser is equipped with no with no more than six phasers. You're a pseudo frigate tender. You have four to six pseudo frigates on board. Probably actually four, because I don't think the game supports six fighters. You are firing from a very long range, so I'll give you credit for that one. But where... Show me when you're going to deploy your pseudo frigates, because... You... Really? So he's deployed his pseudo frigates. Speaking of which, high missiles engaged. Uh, target number two. Thank you. Photon torpedoes. Proximity mode. Maybe not. Maybe he legitimately has no defenses. He is a converted heavy cruiser. Holy crap. Fire. We managed to nail every single time, but we didn't actually punch through what we needed to. A G-type plasma torpedo. Ignorable. Uh, pull the marker out there out of formation, please. Thank you. He's got... Oh, this is an S-type plasma torpedo, actually. So, two S-type plasma torpedoes have now been launched in our direction. Uh, if you don't mind, Mr. Whoever, increase speed even further. Fire your missiles. Yeah, it had no energy by the time it hit us. And the MacArthur comes through for a nice little saving. Unfortunately, MacArthur's about to take 40 damage to the face that I was trying to save him that I couldn't. Wow, a lot more than that, actually. MacArthur is in the middle of a fight that I don't want him to be in because I want him to survive and hopefully prosper. Hi, how are you alive? I was fairly certain that I sent enough firepower to basically ruin your night. Deploy this. I have fighters on board. Why am I not using them? Fighters rip pseudo frigates to shreds. I'm being a silly goat, aren't I? Unfortunately, we've already reached the stage where they're dead and they haven't realized it yet, so I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to use a... I'm not going to use it. I'm, I'm just going to take the hit. Because you know what? That's my punishment. My punishment for not being clever. Defender ship destroyed. Unfortunately, it wasn't the one I cared about. Uh, it was the completely worthless, I have no idea why you still exist vessel of uselessness, quite frankly. Uh, I do have a single proximity photon torpedo. Would you like to have it? How about if I set it to normal mode? Maybe 8 damage is going to be enough to kill you. I'm going to wait till within a range 8. 50% shot. Coin flip hit. Love it. Uh, phasers. Kill me this ship. How are you not dead? Seriously. Uh, plow the mine. Yeah, I know I deployed the mine. Plow the mine. There we go. Properly defeated and destroyed. Now we just need to wait for the Sinvenio to uh, die. The Sinvenio does not have any sort of D-type plasma torpedoes, so... Guys, get on top of him, sit on him, and just wait for him to decloak. And the moment that he does, unload every single G-type phaser that you ever thought you ever had into him. I don't know if they have one G-type phaser piece or two G-type phaser pieces. I kind of hope that it's two, but I think it's one. Because that would be hilarious. Because that means they've got 20 phaser three shots a piece. And you, four squadrons, 80 phaser three shots a piece. And then you realize just why these things are so insanely good. Hi. Can you decloak just just to die? He does have an S. Oh! No, no, they're just unloading. I thought for a moment he was decloaking. This is not the case. They're just firing into him. Because they would... He does have weapons! Fire, fire, fire. 
He has deployed a wild weasel, which he will keep there, so I will be able to get away and around him. I hope. Hopefully. Please tell me you don't have a plasma torpedo to shoot at me. You do, but please tell me I'll be able to get outside your arc. I won't. Oh, you, you little... Mm. Ow. That was not cool. Prepare this. Who's shooting at me? Oh, the Stardox. Like, wait, who's on this side of my ship? There shouldn't be anything. But no, there was, in fact, some Stardox. <sighs> my fighter is just getting involved, doing as much as they can. Just get on, get around, and we'll hurt him eventually. Slow down, slow down, slow down. He's doing a speed of 0.3, which tells me he's actually not doing well. Either that or it's taking him a lot of energy to charge that weapon. Probably both. Just get right on top of him. We're going to sit here and we're just going to chomp into him. Not hitting with much of anything to be frank. Photon torpedo. Hey, the photon torpedo hit. Fortunately, it didn't do anything. Or at least nothing useful yet. We're working on it. Bit by bit, we shall burn him down. More phaser firepower. More photon torpedoes. Hey, he's coming out of cloak. So missiles. Ah, uh, I see. Because the Grant decided that he was had enough of this crap. And was like, I'm just going to lock you up. Yeah, which allowed us to get all our missiles on him. Uh, yep. That's that. Fighters come home. Hopefully they'll just get on board before they fly out of range and decide to do their own thing. Come on. Get back to the ship. Come on, one more. No, two more. You don't look like you're turning to get back to the ship. So I'm going to need you to turn to get back to the ship right now. Increase speed. More. Eh, yeah, that'll do. <sighs> that was a very angry tapping of the button to get back to the ship, but they aren't there not returning. They're, they're being moody, they're being teenager-like, which is uh, slightly annoying because you guys are supposed to be professional fighter jocks, come on. Oh, apparently we lost one of our GTA phasers when that hit went through, which I'm not super surprised about, but, you know. Are you Romulan? Your FRDs. It's not the problem, there's no reason not to. Back in formation, MacArthur, since I can't trust you to actually engage this thing properly. It's frustrating, but true. That's exactly what it is we're dealing with. I am anticipating plot. Yep, I can see it. Didn't even need the probe. Maximum speed of time. We're going to have to uh, brute force muscle our way through this. So you're off. And show me the power stat. Thank you. Powers only is all I need. We're going to slow down, park in front of him, and hit him with a truck. That's the plan. We'll let you know how it goes. Uh, I anticipate quite well, actually. Two hits. Not... Not the most amazing thing I've ever done, but let's slow way down because the AI likes to fire its plasma torpedo from... Uh, pull him out of formation, pull him out of formation before he does something stupid, which he's doing right now. Oh, God. Ugh. Installations should not be able to cloak. This is, this is wrong on so many levels. Because installations do not move. And thus, should not be considered to be invisible. Because we know where they are. They didn't move. They're still here. We have advanced computers in this era that can tell us exactly where something that did not move is. <sighs> this is the one reason why fighting Romulans is not fun. In all other circumstances, fighting Romulans is an absolute blast because they bring some really scary tactics to the table and can be very difficult to kill. But this makes fighting Romulans boring. Because I'm sitting here, and I couldn't do anything. Please tell me that that's actually going to that. I think it is. It does look like it's not an actual miss, that it actually was intended to fire that way. Are we still at the maximum speed of time? We are. Sounds like they've all decided to go after this one. Maybe we can push it into the asteroid. As we chug along over here, you guys should be able to take care of this. Pretty much no problem. Well, I take that back. You're AI. You, you're going to have problems. Boat on torpedoes. Engage proximity mode. Three hits. Uh, that'll do. That'll do, pig. And what do I got in the forward shields right now? 20.5. That'll be more than enough. I will drop down its speed. Should he fire plasma photon? No, I was right the first time. Plasma torpedoes. So that I can just bounce it off my impenetrable hull. And now we'll just get right on in here. Hey, you decided to come and play. Are you going to launch missiles on top of him? Fire everything because he, he was de he was cloaking. So Stop, 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 stop. Don't get too close. Too co we're too close. We cannot fire missiles. He's decloaking. Uh, photon torpedoes back to normal. All weapons. Oh, crap. 
I just... Oh, no, I thought I knocked out my own shield, but no, it was just him turning to occlude it. Uh, I did, however, deploy my scatter pack accidentally, rather than uh, just fire weapons as per normal. I'm hoping at some point this century that, that the MacArthur manages to kill an immobile Stardock. But uh, I shouldn't have too much faith in that, should I? He's coming back, look! Hit him with everything! Unfortunately, I have nothing to shoot right now. I can basically bounce his plasma torpedoes as much as I want. There we go. How did I manage to destroy my Stardock before you? <sighs> Increase the speed of the ship. Let's get on over there. There you go. The shipyard is no more. Which is thus a stunning, astonishing victory for all of Federation kind. I don't think that'll flip the tile, but I hope that flips the tile. 450 prestige is a reward, and it is neutral. Wow. However, that's going to actually do it for today's episode. We've been promoted. We've taken. We've neutralized the tower we're going after. So next time, we're going to really manage to take 23.9. It's going to be amazing, but that will have to wait for next time. I've been Tirek. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to see the notification every time I post one of these videos, press that little bell icon to become that. I will see you all in the next episode.